All right, so this game is going to bring back some memories. Gran Turismo 7. Shout out to PlayStation, the game of the game early. I uh, didn't have a chance to cover it early. I, I didn't know if I was going to cover it or not. I wanted to do one video for it. That's kind of my overall goal, like a review. I, I heard it's like one of the best looking games on the PS5. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and start it up. Reason I wanted to check this out mostly was because when I was a kid, me and my dad played the first one a lot on like the original PlayStation. We used to save our replays. I still have them on the little 12 megabyte PlayStation 1 memory card or whatever. However many megabytes it was. Um, but yeah. Oh, by the way, I also saw the soundtrack for this game. And I was like, yeah, I don't know about that one. I uh, had to mute a lot of the audio. Apparently, like, Bring Me the Horizon and stuff's on it. So I, I was like, yeah, I mean, I like those songs. But I'm not about to be sitting there getting my front door kicked in, you know, by YouTube. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Uh, if this does well, I'll probably do a follow-up video. I have no idea how the game's going to go. I did start it up kind of test drive a little bit. I haven't bought a car, though, yet. So here we go. Man, I'm excited mainly for the fact that uh, I was just thinking about, like, like, gr growing up, I played this one. I never played the second one. For some odd reason, I don't think... I guess we just couldn't afford it or something. I can't remember. And then I played the first one forever. Then when I got a PS2, I did get three after it went on, like, the greatest hits. It's like 20 bucks or whatever. Um, all right. So, there's, like, a music rally, which I'm not going to mess with. I'm going to go to the world map. I had to turn off the soundtrack. I really hate that because it's going to make it kind of weird. But I turned up the... Uh, the engine noises and stuff like that. All right, so here's kind of the way the game is structured. It's like the main menu, by the way. Uh, we have 20,000 credits, which is just on the account. What is daily workout? Hold on, what is this? And what is all this stuff? Hold on, let me see. Gran Turismo credits. Oh, you. Oh, okay, top up on... Yeah, I'm not doing all that. I don't know. Is that what you use to... Let's just go to the used car lot. Let's see what happens. We got to buy a car before we can race. What are we picking out? Yo, let's get it. Hold on, let's see what the, like, top... Look at the Lamborghini down here. Golly. I like how they're all in the same spot, too. Like, they just took some stock photos, and then they took some more here. Then they went back there for the uh, the 911 Porsche. That's funny. Man, I guess I got to start one of these. Um, if I had to pick... I had a Toyota when I was, like, growing up. Not growing up. I guess when I was 16, I had a Toyota, but it was not in the best condition. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I got it and had like over 100,000 plus miles and was on its last leg. It lasted me through high school. I'll say that. But I also think, I think the, hold on, let's see. I, I might go with this. I think I will. Tried and true. Uh, let's see. Max, hold on, max power. 120. What about the other ones? 102. 136 RPM, 6,000. Let me just kind of scan 5,000. Seems like the first one might be the best. Okay, max torque. Hold on. 160.4 foot or 0.6. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like the overall. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of want to go with this one just because I had a Toyota when I was growing up. I'm just going to go for it. All right. You can add it to wish list. That's funny. So you use the in-game money that they give you. Yo, they're looking at graphics. A, a collector level, level one. Back in uh, Gran Turismo 3, I had a Mazda. I think it was 3000 GT with like a thousand horsepower in that game. It was insane. Starting garage. Okay. When you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with its price or value. The more collector points you have. I guess to just call them C CP, uh, the higher your collector level will be. Uh, reflects your rank as a car collector. So buy a lot of cars, raise your collector level. I wonder how you, I guess you make money. Oh, Sarah, hold on. Sarah, I've seen you picked up your first car. Congratulations. Uh, so, Brad, this will be your first car. Nice. And it's red too, which is my original. Uh, once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your new car. I'm going to put some 22s on it really quick. Where do I do that at? The map's slowly opening up. Garage is now open. Okay. Uh, let's go to your garage. Nice. This is your garage. The place to store your car collection. Oh, by the way, this is not some sponsored thing. I know it's a game I wouldn't typically play. Uh, Sony does not pay me to play any of their stuff. They just give it to me early, and I have to just say shout out to them or whatever. All right. This is your home base where you can switch cars, change your settings. 
Or just take time to admire your collection. Just here in my garage. Whatever happened to that guy? Turn tickets you went here to receive bonus items as well. Okay. Once you've checked out everything, let's head out to the cafe next. Okay. Yo, this it's like it's got its own world in the game. Yo, the, I'm going to be honest. The graphics? Like, look at this. I'm actually kind of blown away by how good it looks. It's even got the satellite radio antenna on top. Hybrid synergy. Um, car collection. We got one. This is your collection. Uh, hey, uh, here, every car you ever own will be recorded. Uh, this means it. So I'm guessing the overall goal is to have all of them. I should have just put some money in the account and just like bought like the most expensive thing for the video. That would have been funny. Lots of new cars to add to your collection. I mean, we all, there's 424 cars, tuning parts, gifts, car, oh, car settings, yo, where you can view car settings, okay, change the size of the car you're currently driving, if you change your settings, select measure, you'll be able to see the changes in performance, and the window on the left, settings you made here have a setting sheet, it can be saved, I mean, it's uh, got a pretty steep learning curve, I kind of want to just go race, beyond the Apex web magazine, Accessible via the Gran Turismo menu, menu to the top left. Okay. Well, with that, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go back. I'm assuming... Cafe is now open, okay. Let's go to the cafe. We just pull up there. I wonder if it's online, like other people with their Toyotas and stuff, you know? Cafe shrouded in the woods. Uh, it looks like... Is Jason Voorhees out here or what? Hold on. People, people love uh, cars, car designers. Come to visit. There's also be a special menu for uh, people who explore this world. It's actually kind of nice, but it's also kind of... I don't know. It's uh, kind of out, out there, you know? Luca. It's a cool name. Uh, I just started a brand new adventure. Or not brand new, but new. I kind of just add words sometimes to sentences. I don't know why I do it. He's the owner of the cafe. He got you. We also provide special menu books for exploring this world. A uh, menu book contains hints and objectives for enjoying car collecting and racing. Have another one ready for you. Okay. Choosing your first menu book. Oh, here we go. Japanese compact cars. I just watched Fast and the Furious the other night. I don't know why. I love that movie. All right, here we go. Japanese compact cars. I see the uh, okay. That's the actually the three that I think were on there. Acquire all three cars is what we're supposed to do. So we need to make enough money to then get all three. You can receive the cars and rewards for your performance in certain World Circuit races. It's gonna be a long time before I get there. Uh, be sure to come back to the cafe once you collected all three cars. So the overall goal is to get all three of those cars we saw in the beginning. I'm assuming that's those three. Yeah, I mean, the, the graphics are really good. I have it on performance mode. I don't know if that has, like, ray tracing and all that. The reflections look really good all already, you know? Oh, I was going to say, it'd be cool if this video did kind of well. I mean, it it's something different. It kind of gives me incentive to try other stuff that I probably wouldn't. I've always been kind of scared to go out and play because I play a lot of story-driven stuff, right? Or games like action-adventure... But never like a racing game. I think this might be one of the first I've ever played. But yeah, hopefully like 10,000 likes or something would be kind of cool to see. Showcase is now open. So we're kind of just going, uh, replays, shoot. Okay, let's go. There. Let's just check everything out. First time playing it, so. So this is what other people have done. I don't, oh man, look at this skyline. Oh my goodness. Nice, nice, beautiful, good. <laughs> Are these real people? Hold on. I gotta check this out. Yo, look at this thing. This is one of my dream cars, by the way. The blue one that uh, Paul Walker had in Too Fast, Too Furious. I think it was that movie. Nissan Skyline GTR. Oh, yeah. There it is. Bridgestone. I guess it's like Bridgestone tires. I like the uh, the black the black wheels. That's what I have on my car. For those of you that don't know. I don't have anything crazy, crazy. Uh, Alright. 
I think I, I I think I've shown my car off in one video. It's when I played Pokemon Go. Uh, Dodge Challenger is a 2016 Hellcat. It's all black, and I got like black wheels and everything. It's my favorite color for for cars. That is. Um. Okay. So we're gonna just do. I guess it really doesn't really matter. We're gonna do all these anyways. Eventually. Here we go. Northern Isle Speedway. And this little car? Gift car you get. Okay, third place or higher. Ooh, well, here it goes. I'm not going to look at the car settings. Yeah, here we go. We're finally racing. Yo, look at the crowd and everything. This looks really good. Number of laps, five. Okay. Now, I don't know how fast this thing is. What am I, what am I up against? What's up with the sedan at the top? Like, really? I like how everybody's got their initial, and I'm just, it's just like Brad for me. Here goes. Yeah, that's that old school noise. Yo, that's the old school Gran Turismo start noise. Oh, by the way, I guess I could be inside the car. So we were racing in America, but we're on the right side of the car. Unless, oh no, we're, we're four. I, I guess we got the American flag, but maybe this is somewhere else. Yo, this is a short track. It's only six laps. You don't really break too much in here. This is them tires. I enhanced the uh, the sound effects for the racing. Okay, let's kind of get out right here. Just, excuse me, inside. Don't mind me. And this game looks really good. I can't look at the crowd really. I'm in second place. As long as I don't like crash and burn, I should be all right. I really want to drift. I used to do drifting in Gran Turismo 3 a lot. We would like take turns. Me and my friend would uh, would soup up cars in that game and just try to like drift against each other, you know? It was a lot of fun. All right, a little bit, a little bit uh, safe driving right now. I'm not really a huge like NASCAR fan and stuff. Like I don't have a problem with it, but I mean, I couldn't sit there for four hours and watch cars go in circles, but I can uh, honestly appreciate this type of stuff. I know that it's a short little track or whatever. We got one more lap. Final lap. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. This game is... I can see the overall appeal of, like... Because there's not really any racing games out. Besides, like, on PlayStation, that is. You don't really have a lot of competition for something like this. Yeah, this was a pretty easy race. Now, they won't always be like that. That's a good start, though. And this little car, let me tell you. I have my hazard lights on. Let's go. I like how there's nobody in the... Oh, I, thought, I didn't see anybody for a second. I forgot I was on the right side. Look at me. I'm chilling. All right. We won. We had, we had a 2.3 second lead. I'll take it. I'm assuming this is where, like, Bring Me the Horizon kicks in and starts playing. But I'm not about to get my uh, door kicked in. I think somebody comes to your window if you... Uh, Upload a video with music on it now. I'm not sure how the restrictions are on YouTube. All right, here we go. Daily workout, 3.2. So what's the... You don't actually run. I'm assuming something else is going on with that. All right, we got uh, we got the other one acquired. Now we got to get the other other one. Yeah, I, I can see the addiction kind of kicking in a little bit. I was sitting there. I almost didn't play this game just because of the music. And I was like, let me just try it without it. So far, so good. Hopefully, the video looks good too. Four, I'm doing like everything in 4K 60 performance mode. Yeah, that that sound, and you can watch the repo. I kind of want to see how it how it actually looks. Uh, can we? Oh, let's hide the menu. Ah, I want to see what this kind of looks like. I want to see these graphics. Oh, you kind of have to. That this is a cool image. Oh, here we go, here we go. These are the replays me and my dad used to have. We would go back and we'd, it'd be like a duo type race and we'd watch them like this. And it was just always a cool feeling, you know? I gotta get him over here and do a video like this. It'd be so cool to have. 
I might try to find that memory card and like I have all the replays. Cer certain games when I grew up, I would I would I would save those replays. I would save uh, Tekken Four. I had a ton of matches saved. Me and my one of my closest friends from my childhood, we had a bunch of matches. That's back before you could like stream or anything or save videos. I didn't have a capture card or computer, but you could save them on like the memory card and go back and watch them. A lot of cool times during that. Oh, I think I've seen enough. I just want to see what it looked like. Race photos, capture thumbnail. Ah, oh, that was kind of a terrible. <laughs> that's a terrible thumbnail. What? <laughs> that isn't going to get you any clicks. All right, here we go. So the overall goal is to get the three the three cars. Uh, all right. Now, acquired on that one. Do we do we do it again? Arcade race. Oh, I have. Oh, you know what? I can. Wait, can I buy the other one? Let's go back. Uh, hold on, hold on. What is this one? Okay, you get a gifted car. Two laps. Probably a long track. All right, here we go. Uh, should I change my car settings at all? Mm, everything. I'm not going to mess it all too, too much. It seems like it's a pretty long track, but two laps. Pretty long runway. I don't know, like, how it's going to go. Here we go. I don't think this game has a story mode. I think this is kind of it, you know? It's like us going and doing of objectives. Yeah, that, man, that brings back some memories. Oh, by the way, I just realized a little story time since I can't have music. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to break right here. I might use them as uh, bar barricades to stop me from going too far. How I first played the original Gran Turismo, I'm going to age myself here. I mean, I'm 35, but, you know, it is what it is. So... This Prius is, uh, got some moves. Hold on. Funny story. Resident Evil 2. That's how I first played Gran Turismo. You want to know how I did that? So, we used to rent games. I don't know if it's like from Blockbuster Movie Gallery. I can't, I can't remember. But anyways. Break a little bit right there. I was going to drift. I really want to drift. Got to do some first person. Rented Resident Evil 2. My my dad got it for me. I played it, and one of the discs didn't work. It was two discs. It's like Leon A, Claire A, Leon B, Claire B. You know, it had the two different discs. Well, I think the B disc was scratched up. So I had to I had to use the other one, and I told my dad, and he said, okay, I'll, I'll return it. They didn't have any more. So he goes, hey, I brought you this game instead, and it was Gran Turismo. And I was so disappointed. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I really was enjoying Resident Evil 2. I eventually uh, bought that game used, but we played Gran Turismo a lot. I think I showed it to him. I was, we just kind of played it over the years. We've had different games we played. I want to say one was uh, when I was a kid, it was Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It was like one of the first games I ever played against him. And then uh, we'd always pick Ryu and Ken. And just fireballs for days. <laughs> it was crazy. Hot dog. And then it was, uh, man, what was it? Pi pilot wings. That was another one. Flying the planes and stuff. And then I want to say after that, we played like my, my first PlayStation 1 game. We didn't play a lot of Sega Genesis. That's pretty easy. I mean, it was a straight track. I figured this is kind of the beginning stages of the game. I'm not going to overwhelm you. But yeah, the first, uh, those are the first few games we played. Now, when I got my first PlayStation, we played Twisted Metal 2. That was the first first PS1 game I ever owned. Nine second differential. Good gracious. I mean, it's the beginning. That celebration, though. Prize money, 5000 Okay. It's cool you can earn money in the game. I was slightly worried when it said visit the PlayStation Store. I was like, I hope it's not one of these microtransaction type games. Granted, I'm sure that's a, a shortcut for people, but... You know, it is what it is. We got all three. Let's go back and talk to Luca. Collector points, 49. So we got all three. So in hindsight, I probably could have picked the cheaper of the three since I was going to get all three anyways, right? Might have been the play. 
I just want to see me get to first really quick. Kind of check out the detail. Look at the guy with the camera. The crowd looks pretty good. Now, I will say this. A lot of launch titles... Not launch titles. A lot of the first few years of a console, we've had, we've had a lot of issues with, like, a lot of games not fully polished or clipping, you know, into stuff. Look at me come around the corner. I'm kind of wobbly, though. <laughs> Driving like I was, uh... Reckless out there. Hold on. I was kind of going reckless here. <laughs> Look at me just kind of just kind of weave it in and out. I like how I was pretty much using them as uh Yeah, it's right here where I passed everybody. After that it was pretty much over. Look at me at first. Yeah, that's sick. Look at the pit crew there. We're well, not really pit crew, they're kinda like some barbed wire fits or something's going on there. I I should have busted a drift right there. That would have been clean. All right. Hey, that was cool. I have a lot of memories of this game. Even though it's a brand new game, I'm having memories of older games like it. Another game was Jet Moto. I remember, oh my God. Have they, are they ever going to make that game again? If you guys haven't seen it, Jet, Jet Moto was insane. Five laps. Now, here's the thing. This, I, I can already tell by looking at the picture that my little Honda whatever is not going to compete with that. Nissan Skyline, the little curse is on right there, or these other two cars. They would just be bad news bears. Uh, all right, I think we go talk to Luca again, right? Yeah, let's go back to the cafe. He's going to give us another, uh, another thing. Is that an iceberg in the back? Japanese compact cars collected. All right. Luca Magic. Uh, congratulations, you succeeded in getting all three cars. As completes the collection, and boy, have I got some stories to tell you about these cars. Oh, no. I hope they're good. Look at my dude up in the top right just running for it. Let's talk later. Oh, you can see when I'm recording this video. I'm not sure when you're going to see this because, like, the embargo was, like, Thursday. I'm not posting on Thursday. So maybe March 4th you'll see it, if I had to guess. I don't know how long the 4K is going to take to upload and all that. Let's take a good look at these cars and hear what Luca has to say about them. Back in my day, deepening knowledge about just may uh, lead to new discoveries. Roulette ticket. Reward for completing, uh, okay. Availability, wait, is that like a real availability type thing? 420, okay, 422. My brain just like fried there. April 2nd, 2022, Brad. You can speak, let's go. License center. Uh, looks like he has an objective icon. All right, that's menu book number one. What's well, number two, I wonder? Self-explanatory refers to cars with shorter wheelbases. Uh, less spacious interiors. That's one way to put it. Uh, their compact nature makes them quite agile, making them popular with new drivers. Probably, I mean, th these are the ones... You want to get, if you're trying to save on gas, you have long trips where you're trying to get there on one, one take of gas, essentially, because these will not burn your fuel. Uh, all right. Japanese compact cars are famous for their technical proudness. Okay. Uh, for example, the diesel engine of the fourth generation considered one of Mazda's true masterpieces. They're also third generation Honda, uh, Honda Fit Hybrid. Most fuel efficient. Look at that. Car in Japan was released. I can imagine if it's a if it's a, a hybrid and a Honda, like those kind of combined, already sounds like you get like 80 miles to a gallon. As you can see, many compact cars have ended up becoming all-time classics. This, I mean, I gotta say, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I, I didn't think I would enjoy this as much as I, because I was thinking I was like, man, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna race around. Who's gonna want to watch that? But then. Kind of the talking, the story time, the... You guys kind of getting to know more about me and my childhood and everything, too. Alright, so, gotta get the B1 license. You don't need to collect any cars for this menu. Instead, I'd like you to check out the License Center. Uh, earning license at the License Center. Great way to improve your driving skills, especially when you're struggling. Once you develop your skills, you can test yourself by going... For gold and all the challenges. Oh, yeah. Starting off by earning a bronze or better. Uh, okay. Once you score a bronze or better, come back and see me. All right, nice. 
Test yourself at the license center. So I get to actually call this video like a part one, like a true part one. That's funny. It's actually this like a story mode. I didn't think I thought I was just gonna call it something else, like a review or something. Technically it is. Okay, uh, we got a garage notification. Let me go check that out. Known issues March 4th. We got a gift. Hold on. These are your gifts. When you receive a roulette ticket, you can trade them in here, exchange them for cars. It's not available for a little while, though. See what you get. Yeah, I got to wait on this one. Wait, maybe not. Hold on. It said availability. Dang. Oh, okay. Please be the car. No, oh, what? Oh, okay. It wasn't the least amount of money. How much CP is that? Or CR? 5,000. I'll take it. Hey, we're building that bankroll, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, let's go. All right, car collection. I'm not going to worry about anything else. Say we don't really need to. I don't even think we're using our car for this, probably. All right, license center. Hone your driving skills. Here we go. There's no dialogue for the characters either. This is a license center. This is where you can hone your driving techniques, become more efficient on a racetrack. I thought this game had like an open world or something. I, I don't know why I thought it was going to be like Forza a little bit. I guess it's its own entity, you know? Techniques, you can also gauge. Look at the uh, graphics though. The idle training ground for those who want to make it in this competitive world. Look at this guy. Uh, all right. Welcome to License Center. I'm Daniel. Okay. Also, the Grand Chosen Driver from the North American region. A little bit of polish your driving skills here, starting with the basics such as going straight, turning, and stopping. I'm glad they didn't do this before I raced. Imagine. All right. Let's, uh, high speed ring. I mean, should we just do this one? It can't be that hard, right? I fell the first time. 100%. Starting and stopping. You need to accelerate off the line and stop inside the goal areas. Okay. Maybe it is a little more challenging than I thought. And choose something by the side of the track that will tell you when to brake. Reset point. Stomp on the brake pedal until you stop. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get it on. That's that old school soundtrack. Not soundtrack, but uh, sound effect. I'm assuming we stop right up here, right? Yeah, right here. We gotta stop inside the line? I got silver? Oh, I barely missed it. I If I had started stopping a little sooner... Let's retry that. I wanna try to get gold really quick. It's gonna bother me. I get silver on starting and stopping. What kind of world is this? There's probably... I don't know if you... In the beginning, if you don't... Uh, if you hit the gas like a little late, it might give you a boost. I don't know if it's like Mario Kart. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Yo, drifting! Oh, I did terrible that time. You know what happened? I'll do it one more time. One more time. Silver? I don't really care. It's all good. I tried the uh, emergency brake thinking it might make me do something better, but it did not. In fact, it... uh. Wait, how was my other time ahead of that? I don't... I don't. I, it's just... I literally hold down the button at the start. I'm not moving either. Oh, silver again. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's like a replay. I don't need to watch that. I know what I did. Yeah, I mean, getting gold is something like a min-max type thing. One more time. One more time. I don't know if turning at all. Now, if I could do like a manual shift might be the best play. Oh, so close. So close to gold. You want to basically stop, wait, like just a little bit before I just did. 
Okay, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's see what's next. Um, all right. Rewards. Plus 1,500 credits. Daily workout. Cool. It's pretty simple. Okay. Uh, starting and stopping. Do I... I know I was just supposed to go back. I kind of want to try out this. This is a GTO Twin Turbo 91 model. Let's see. Unless it's a, it's a straight shot as well. I want to try it out. Even though I don't need to do this. Here we go. I just want to try it. 16 seconds. We're going to get there faster. I think I'm... Okay, I can see... Well, we're moving pretty quick. I might not get anything good on this one. Hey, bronze. It's all good. Something to try, you know? Yeah, I, I just, you just have to, I think for these, it's pretty simple. You just have to wait. You just have to get the timing down. It's like a muscle memory type thing. Like, you got to say, hey, right when I pass this start breaking now, the early start shifting, maybe instead of revving it all the way up, rev it like halfway might be the play. All right. All right we're, we're good to go. We did all we need to do uh, to get that. Hold on. It looked like, if I'm not mistaken, let me look at this menu one more time. Yeah, learn the basics of driving. Get all bronze. You get a you get a car for all bronze and a car for all gold. Wow. Nothing for all silver, though. That's pretty odd. Not even a halfway checkpoint type thing. All right. Well done. You did an amazing job. I, I was point like two two away from getting that. All right. Uh, they all competed in the Grand Turismo Championships. It takes a long time to get to those championships in these games. I remember the first one. It took forever. Uh, you can watch. Oh, remember, that was the third one. I can't remember. Now it's time to give you a reward. Uh, or your reward. It's all yours. You earned it. Please be a Lamborghini. No, I'm kidding. Hey, European Classic Compacts. Okay. Uh, let's talk to her. Nice to meet you. I know it's your cool car. I just want to say hi. Okay. First off. No lady is ever walking up to me and saying, hey, that's a nice uh, little Toyota compact car you have there. It's just not happening. Uh, you're looking good as always. Her name is Stella. She likes uh, cars a lot and visits this cafe pretty often. I love talking about cars at this cafe. Okay. Toyota Prius are the most powerful... Oh, not powerful. Po um, I can imagine. <laughs> most popular Japanese hybrid. It's also very quiet. One thing I don't like... I would be scared to have this because I don't think other people hear you coming. Like, it's, it's like the ultimate drive-by vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Outside of Japan, the Aqua is marketed as the Prius C. I don't know why I'm so silly sometimes. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm familiar with it. It's a mix between, yeah, gas and electric. They don't burn fuel, okay? A balancing engine and motor power, uh, engine and motor power hybrid cars offer a very efficient driving experience. Now, I would imagine that if I was starting out with another vehicle nowadays, you kind of almost have to get something like that. All right, let's get these cars. We got three cars to get. Uh, Fiat. Oh, no. Mini Cooper and a Volts. We'll get an old school Volkswagen. Collect, uh, classic European compact cars, okay? All three cars are built in the Europe, or in Europe in the 1960s, and they're still much loved to this day. I'm one of those kids that when I was picked on in school to, to like read a sentence, I would fumble my words a lot. I get like stage fright almost. All right, good luck out there. I'm not sure how I ever became a YouTuber, to be honest with you. I think working in retail helped with that a little bit. All right, here we go. Menu book number three. Here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll get these three, and then... Kind of wrap up the video. I'm assuming we get these three, then we go get the next license thing. Kind of go back and forth. There might be somewhere else we go. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Kind of make this a nice long part one in case you guys like a part two. We will see. World Circuits. Wouldn't I need to buy one of these to race there? Or am I using the Aqua still? 
I hold on. Should I buy a better vehicle? I mean, what am I? I wonder what I'm using here. Wouldn't I need to buy one of those three? Let me go back. Let's go to the shop really quick. This is like a nice starting area. Used cars. Here we go. Well, hello, Brad. <laughs> Andy. Dude, looks like he does my taxes. All right, let's see. You'll be pleased to hear what well, we've got. New cars in stock. New used cars. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Golly, they... It, the price on some of these... Nah, man, this BMW is nice. That's that transporter look right there. That James Bond right there. Pantera. Oh, man. I want to save up and... Oh, man, the, the 911 would be so nice. NSX. Oh, I had a friend who had one of these. Type R92. He had the Rockford Fosgate 12s in the back. I remember those days. All right. I don't... I guess I have to use... One of the, I wonder if I can use one of the cars I already have, you know? Well, I'd imagine it should be fine, right? We'll see what it says. So these are the three areas. Past results, one. Okay, let's do this one. Main rival cars. I wonder if mine's good enough. I mean, I could use this one, but... I like this one been tried and true I'm sure that third place or higher shouldn't be that hard considering everything's been pretty chill up to this point there we go yeah I'll try to get all three and then that'll kind of end the first video what I start in the back though we're not all like in an even playing field type thing all right this car is actually doing pretty good I thought I was gonna have to buy the Fiat I was like I don't know about that one. Oh yeah Swerveder let's go Mini Coop. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> I gotta admit, I am having a lot of fun with this game. This is one of those I'll probably keep on my PS5 for a long time just to kind of mess around, play in my spare time. I did that with that Hot Wheels game a while back. It's actually kind of fun. I think, like, the kid in me was enjoying it, you know? Yeah, I feel like getting... I think I kind of ran into the same thing with the first few games where it was like I would be very uh, like eager to get like a gold on something and I would keep trying. It's like the it, they want you to kind of be like a perfectionist in a way. I may not get first in this one though. This uh, car in front of me... Looks like maybe I can draft a little bit. Yeah, it's a Volkswagen Golf GTI 1983. I should just ram him. <laughs> that would be bad. If I can get on the inside a little bit. Sorry. Woo, get past. Let's go. Final lap. Top right. I kind of like how they got the layout in this game. Because you have the bottom right that kind of shows like the way you're going. And then you have the top right which kind of shows you like a, a bird's eye view of the track. And you got all those things on the bottom which I... Probably need to keep an eye on. You get the fuel and I'm guessing like battery and all that. Break a little bit right here. Not too much. Man, I really want to drift. <laughs> I really do. So bad. Alright, I should be fine here. This is the final stretch, I think. We're pretty far ahead. Yeah, we're... We're all the way to the top. We're good. Hey, let's go. Two laps, first place, I'll take it. All right, Sunday Cup Classic. It's funny because it's such a short track, you know? All, all these have been very short, which I'm fine with. The goal is to get enough credits to probably get something. I would probably want to get one of the things that costs like maybe like 100... 100,000 or so. Because you want to buy something, buy what you want. If you only get a limited amount of credits on here. I live by the motto, buy nice or buy twice. Because I don't know how many times I'll skip on something. And then wish I'd got the other thing. And then I wind up getting the other thing down the road. Just, just get what you want the first time. 
All right, so we got... Yeah, I'm not doing the GT Cup GR.3 or whatever. No, thank you. Dogwood. Okay, Sunday Classic. Yeah, here we go. Yo, we're cruising right now. Goodwood. I thought I said dog, dogwood. Like a golf course. All right, uh, we're up against... We got the Austin Powers van in there. That's funny. <laughs> Man, that's that little startup noise is so cool. That just it's like that's the original Gran Turismo one like sound or whatever. Let me get past all these. Oh, excuse me, coming through. I don't think your cars take damage in this game. I could be wrong though. Oh, look at these graphics, though. I like third person when I'm passing people so I can see how much room I got. Same car that was in first last time right there. There's a couple of the same ones over and over. Got a breaker up here. Hold on, let's see. I'm about to break too much. I think I braked a little too much right there. Look at that Mini Cooper. What's going on here? Oh, stay off the grass. Let's go. I gotta, I gotta admit, I am actually surprised how how good this game has turned out. I'm excited to kind of see how well it does. You know, it's a racing game. It's not, you know, Elden Ring or whatever I'm playing right now. It's just kind of something that's just off the, off the norm for me. Now look at this car in first. That thing's kind of nice. Woo! Oh, oh man, I was about to—I was about to hit the e-brake. <laughs> Almost. We're still a lap. Uh, one of two. That's a nice little curve there. Okay. All right, coming up on the first laps. It's about a minute. I would say, what minute fifty? Okay, close. We just gotta not make any mistakes here. I'm really happy that the game kind of tells you to brake a little bit in certain areas. I find that instead of braking all the way, just letting off the gas, and then you can bar barely touch the brake, maybe. Oh, we are cruising right now. I think I've had the most fun with this game because it's just so chill. I think every game I'm playing right now requires, like, insane eye-hand coordination, timing, boss fights. And I'm over here just driving, <laughs> just driving a Toyota around the track, burning cars. It's the way you do it. I, I'm, I'm kind of worried. I want to hit the e-brake, but I, I don't want to do it on this lap or whatever. I'm, I want to do it. I'm actually, my fuel is kind of, can I run out of gas on the track? I mean, you, you obviously can in real real life, but I wonder if the game would do that where they don't give you enough, you know? We're coming up on, like, the last little... We got a little swerve area coming up up here. It's not here yet, but... Yeah, I, I want to get a skyline in this game. One of my favorite cars when I was a kid was like the V12 Vanquish and the Ferrari F50 with like the convertible roofing. I always thought that, like that was like neat. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3. I, or no, not 3. I think it was just the first one. Played that on PlayStation with my dad as well. And I used to love that because the cops would be chasing you. It was so unrealistic. All right, pretty stress-free. Same celebration. I'll take it. 5,000 more credits. You could kind of farm some of these, I would imagine. Can you do, like, the same thing over and over? Just keep getting five. Nice little farming spot. Hey, we got the uh, the Mini Cooper. Hey, collector level. Let's go. Might watch my replay. See when I pass everybody. See how I start out. Plus, we got to kind of check out some of the animations, other drivers. <laughs> so funny. 
<laughs> Look at me just going through you. <laughs> For no reason. Like, excuse me, coming through. I, like how I swerve a lot, don't I? Everybody else is all steady. I'm over there, like, having trouble keeping in, like, one lane, you know? I'm just, it's like I'm not, it's not even fair. Now, the first, first place. Yeah, we're just kind of, see if I pass him really quick. I <laughs> just bump it. Excuse me, coming through. I got a, I got a task to finish. Uh oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that Mini Cooper struggling. <laughs> They're like all over the track. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> he kind of, he, he almost had a panic swerve going on, didn't he? <laughs> just, just smoke him. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I'd like shove him out of the way a little bit. Hold on. Might be too much fun with this game. Okay, there, yeah, there's one more call. I want to see this pass really quick. <laughs> this is so silly. I feel like I'm going to slow. Oh, here, here I come. Slow motion. It's like trim. It's like the movie Trimmer. He's gaining all this. Yeah, I just it was it was over after that. I kind of wanted to see me go through that. Uh, oh, look at that! Hey, that was a hey, that was close. If I had pulled that e brake. <laughs> it would have been insane. One thing I wanted to see is that little, uh, that, that's it right there. I wanted to see that. Okay, that's cool. You can save the replays, I'm pretty sure. All right, one more. One more, and then I'll wrap up this video. I've had a lot of fun with this. Okay, third place or higher. Here we go. Same car. I'm getting these miles out of this one. Brands Hatch Indie Circuit. The game loads very, like, quick. It's very snappy. Same cars as last time. We'll do this and go talk to our boy, Luca. Okay, this track looks a little different. What if you can drive with the D-pad? Excuse me. Come at the... Oh, you can't. Oh, it changes the, uh, the radar and all that. Not the radar. What is this Call of Duty? Very dark right now. I can't really. I say I can't see, but it's just like very cloudy. Yeah, it's definitely not a straight way. I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of momentum, I think. All right, here we go. I gotta get top three. I feel like I could probably because we gotta do two full laps on this one. There's like one big straightaway in the end. Coming up. There it is. This is where I gotta take the lead and then maintain it if I can. It's been a really good year for video games. Like, really good year. Here we go. Ooh! Oh, we're good. Yeah, we had, I mean, the start of the year, we had Dying Light 2, Horizon, Sifu, um, this game, I mean, Elden Ring, I mean, it's just been, this is, I mean, it's just barely March, you know? And we got a lot of stuff coming out this month, too. Definitely a refreshing game to play right now, for sure. It also kind of harnesses the power of the PS5. I'm assuming this is going to be like their showcase game for a while. Which, hey, you want to see what this game, this system's capable of? You can then probably like use a showcase and all that for this, and it'd be like, hey, is that a picture of a car? Or is that the real thing? You know? All right, yeah, that should be the last little section, I would imagine. Seems like it's pretty straightforward. Hey, let's go. Hey, six races and six gold. I like how the one thing I got silver and bronze on was the uh, starting and stopping. Apparently, I'm bad at that. All right, kind of see what's next. I'll talk to everyone, and then after that, it'll uh, I'll stop the video for like the like next objective pops up. Probably show us what's on like the next thing to do is. Man, I kind of want to see me push this this big vehicle out of the way in the like, beginning. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> there we go. I think I'll, I kind of get aggressive right here. Watch me. I'm pushing him. 
<laughs> make them all swerve a little bit. Let me see if we get the first really quick. And hey, look at me shaking everywhere. Over there twitching. <laughs> it's like I just, my dude's pissed. Let's go. Here I come. It, it's so crazy how good this game looks. Like, I expected it to look good because when you... Okay, comparably speaking... Yeah, I'm over there. I'm over there looking like... I'm about to lose control at any minute. So see me get first really quick, if I can. Hey, the crowd, everything. It looks nice. It, it did a really good job with this game. I think I passed them right here. Here I go. Yeah, let's go. Uh oh. That's so cool. They did a good job with this game. All right. That is everything for, I guess, the beginning parts of this game. But assuming it just kind of keeps going. That the menu loads really quick. The game starts up very fast. Go back to the cafe and talk to Luca really quick. There's all my vehicles. My collection now. I have three. European Classics Compact. Or Classic Compacts completed. Okay. All three cars. This completes your European Classic Compact collection. I got some stories to say about these cars. Okay. Roulette ticket again. We'll open that for the end of the video. World Circuit Track has been made available. Japan High Speed Ring. Oh my god. Tuning Shop. Let's talk to him. He's going to tell us a little bit about each one. A little bit of history. You know, like a learning session here. Uh, someone's famous in history. It's truly a wonderful collection. Uh, world's first motor cars were produced around the end of the 19th century. Uh, but it wasn't until the 20th century that mass production became the norm. Uh, this meant nearly everyone had access to an automobile, not just a select few. Back then, many small, simple cars were manufactured and priced affordably, uh, so nearly anyone could purchase one. Uh, making this possible were ingenious engineers and visionaries who created icons such as the Mini from the UK, the Fiat 500 from Italy, and the Volkswagen Beetle from Germany. All right. These cars certainly left their mark on automotive history. Perhaps I'll tell you more about them next time. That's cool, man. I, I like how this game is structured. Oh, man. High speed ring. We would probably... Let me look at the menu book. Finishing top three. Oh, it's just... Uh, the only thing is... Let me learn more about it. Uh, now available in the world circuit. Go ready and go sign up. Let me back up. I'm not going to do that right now, but I do want to see like what kind of cars are going to be in this. Tuning shop is now open. Probably redder. I, I would prefer to farm credits. I guess we go to World Circuits. And I just want to see where it's at. It'll be over here. Oh, here it is. High speed ring. Yeah, I, I would need... Look at the maximum... Okay, you get a lot. Yeah, I definitely need a better vehicle for that. I'm assuming they have it set up to where... What is this one? Okay. That's where kind of you want to do, I guess, uh, the different races. You could do this one. It's not really on their like, main thing or whatever. I wonder if I can just go here and just kind of do the different ones. Like, if I do this again, maximum reward. I wonder if I get it again, you know? Do this until you have maybe enough to get. What would be a good car to use there? Let me back up. Go to the used car shop. What if all the cars are going to be used, though? Can you buy a new one? Used car dealership. Probably different dealers after you get part of the game. Yeah, I mean, I have 40000 I would probably want... See, if I was going to spend... Hold on, could I sell some cars? I just realized that. I have those cars. Could I not sell them? I really want this Nissan. I really do. That of the BMW would be nice. Um, is this a car that 
Jesse Pinkman drove in Breaking Bad. A little red, red car. I don't know. It might not be the same thing. Pantera. The Dino. It says it's sold out. I wonder, like, how it gets back in stock. Because it's like, it's a single player game right now. So I don't know how it really works. All right. That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. What I wind up doing is kind of see the feedback from this video. I've had a lot of fun just kind of messing around. I may, uh, I may just go farm some credits in my spare time in case you guys want a part two. But I'll kind of see how this does. I'll say, if, I'll say right now, if we hit like, like 20,000 likes, probably do like a part two. But for now, just kind of a one-time video. Playing a lot of other stuff anyway, so it kind of works out. But um, I had a lot of fun with this. Trip down memory lane with the Gran Turismo series. Kind of memories of my dad growing up. You know, childhood, all that stuff. So love you all. Best audience ever. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.